Today, we are going to talk about our body. Do you know that your body is an amazing machine? It can move, think, listen, and talk. Your body consists of many parts, all working together. Some of these parts, such as your hair and skin, can be seen. Others, such as the bones and the lung, cannot be seen. They are hidden inside you. Each part of the body has a different function. Different parts of our body are Head H E A D Head Arm A R M S Arms Chest C H E S T Chest Abdomen A B D O M E N Abdomen the legs L E G S legs Let's look again for one more time at the different parts of our body. Head H E A D Head Arm A R M S Arms Chest C H E S T Chest Abdomen A B D O M E N Abdomen and 
the legs. L E G S Legs The head is on our neck. Let's look at the parts of the head. The head consists of hair, forehead, ears, eyes, cheeks, nose, mouth, neck, and chin, hair. We keep our hair clean and tidy. Eyes. We see things with our eyes. It gives us a picture of what is happening around us. Nose We smell with our nose. Our nose picks up smells floating in the air around us. When we breathe, air goes up to our nose and into the lung. Mouth We use our mouth to eat and talk. Mommy, may I have some gravy please? Let's look at the parts of the head again. The head consists of hair, H, A, I, R. Hair, forehead, F, O, R, E, H, E A D Forehead Eyes E Y E S Eyes Ears E A R S Ears Cheeks C H E E K S Cheeks Nose N O S E Nose 
mouth m o u t h mouth chin c h i n chin neck n e c k neck the neck joins our head to our body we can move our head to the left and to the right we can move our head up and down we have two shoulders two arms and ten fingers one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten fingers our arms can bend and stretch we use them to reach for things and to hold them we use our arm to do work We use our arms to write. We use our arms to play. Inside the chest is the lung and the heart. The heart pumps blood around the body. When we breathe, fresh air from outside enters the lung. Some parts of the body, like the stomach, that we cannot see is inside the abdomen. Look at your legs. They are long and strong. We move on our legs. We walk and run using our legs. We have two knees that help us to bend our legs when we move. We have two feet at the bottom of our legs. Our feet are flat so that we can stand and walk. We can also heel up and walk on our toes. When we move, we use all the parts of our body. Turn your head to the right. Turn your head to the left. Head up, head down. Turn your head. Push your shoulders up. Push your shoulders down. Put your right hand up. Put your left hand up. Count your fingers one to ten. Push your left elbow to your right. Push your right elbow to your left, 
and feel your heart. Look at your legs. Bend both your knees. Touch your ankle and stand straight on your feet. Hop to the left, hop to the right. Tiptoe, tiptoe everywhere. Hop to the left, hop to the right. Tiptoe, tiptoe everywhere. Let's look at what we have seen so far. The neck joins our head to our body. We have two shoulders. Two arms. And ten fingers. Inside the chest is the lung. And the heart. Some parts of the body, like the stomach, that we cannot see is inside the abdomen. Your legs are long and strong. There are two knees that help us to bend our legs when we move. At the bottom of our legs, that are flat so that we can stand and walk. Our body is divided into the head, chest, the abdomen, and the legs. The head consists of hair, forehead, two eyes, two ears, a nose, mouth, cheek, and chin. We have two shoulders, two arms, and ten fingers. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We have two knees and two feet. When we move, we use all the parts of our body. Before we say goodbye, here are some advices for you. Be careful when you play, run, walk, and work. We have to take good care of our body by eating good food. Answer these questions. Can you name all the parts of your body? Name your fingers. How can a person read if he is blind? Why must you take good care of your body? Till next time, goodbye!